monitors us. It seems as if the government will cut any corner and any hole in the Constitution in order to make its job easier. I am, I am, um, I'm not surprised by this. Now, tell us what it is. I'm what are they doing? All right, here's the law. They're tracking your car. If, but if the government wants to track where your car goes by accessing your GPS or following your cell phone that's in your pocket or on your uh, on your the front seat with you, it needs a warrant to do it. But under the present state of the law, if the government wants to take a picture of your car every place it goes, which has the same function, uh, serves the same function as as, uh, as following your GPS device. It doesn't need a warrant to do so. The reason it doesn't need a warrant to do so is twofold. The license plate is in public, so the government takes the position you have no right to privacy and you don't expect privacy on your license plate. The other reason is the government has not yet introduced into evidence in court in prosecuting someone the photographs of these cars, so no one has challenged it. In my opinion, once they challenge it, the court will say, wait a minute, the linchpin of the Fourth Amendment is what's called articulable suspicion, something the police can articulate about why they need to follow that car. If we let the police willy-nilly follow us wherever we want to go, we'll be like East Germany. If we require articulable suspicion, we'll have personal liberty. But, but so bring that to the bigger picture, the, the, the recent news. The NSA had been data mining us. They were taking data. They could look back. They could find out what we were saying. They were just looking at telephone numbers and times. But, but, but isn't this the same thing? Yes, it is. Yes, it, it is. is. It is. It is local police picking up on what the feds could get away with. And this is why it was profoundly wrong for federal judges on the FISA court to sign those orders saying to Verizon, give us all of the phone records and data of 113 million people. If they're looking for a phone call that Eric Bowling had with somebody in the Middle East or that Andrew Napolitano had with somebody in the Middle East, fine. They can go to the FISA court and say they'll need Bowling's records and Napolitano's records. But why do you need records of 113 million people? The Constitution specifically says they have to particularize what they want. They can't run a dragnet. We have about just about a minute. Judge, there, there are drones now, and I understand they're in use, where they can videotape a section of a city. They can take it. They can put the videotape away. If something happens in that city, they can go back and take a look at that. And down to, they can read the time on my watch. Senator, is that legal? No. Senator Rand Paul is holding up the nomination of James Comey to run the FBI. No, none of this is his fault. Until his predecessor, Bob Mueller, reveals what the FBI is, is doing with drones. Because the courts haven't ruled on it, the legislature hasn't written laws about it, and we need to know what the people we hire to keep us safe are doing to keep what? our freedom safe. What are they doing with the information? That's what we really need to know. Judge, we got to go. I'd like to do this again. I love this topic. And we're on this. We see eye to eye. Yes, we are, my friend. Very good to see you, Judge. It's a pleasure. All right, they survived. Now they're suing.